Welcome to another edition of Music Elements and some more scales. Oh, why does everyone go on about scales all the time? I remember when um, I was learning and um, got handed a book of scales and said, here you go, Paul, learn all the scales and that because you've got an exam coming up in a few weeks. Um, and uh, it nearly drove me nuts. <laughs> Scale, scales, scales. I was doing pipe organ back then. So not only did I have to play them with my hands on the keyboards, I also had both feet down on the double octave pedal board um, of a pipe organ. Um, but scales relate to key signatures, of course, the sharps or flats that are in a scale. Um, then we talk about the key signature of a song, which means, um, for easy maths, if it's got no sharps or flats, it's in the key of C major. C major scale on a beautifully tuned piano. <laughs> Um, no sharps or flats, okay? So it then takes the next step into the, the intervals um, in the scale. Um, and then the triads, the chords that we've done um, a few tutorials ago, where we're, we're building... Where we're building um, the tonic, the subdominant, the dominant, the, the one, the four, the five chord. Um, and then the colour chords that fit into that. Also out of that key, <laughs> built on the notes of scales. Um, so they are extremely important, extremely important when you're songwriting. Um, you may have a modulation um, where it shifts from one key to a different key toward the end of a song or a repeat chorus or something like that. Um, so yeah, the scales are very important. Um, as knowing, you know, the notes, the, uh, the key signatures, sharps, flats, um, in major and minor scales, there's two versions of minor, just to make things more complicated, <laughs> harmonic and melodic minor. And of course, there's a whole heap of modes as well. We don't have to worry about those at this point in time. <laughs> That's one thing to be thankful for. <laughs> so, uh, and the, the, the minor scales, if you just focused on the harmonic, that would be um, a great start. Um, so what we'll do, um, we're going to write out a few major scales. Get your pen, your manuscript paper, your favourite pen, <laughs> and some manuscript paper ready, because here we go. Okay, do you have your favourite pen? I do. Um, so manuscript paper, of course you know what that is, it's music, uh, paper for writing music on. Uh, has the five lines, music staff and stave. Okay, let's do just a treble clef um, for this session. Um, so I'm actually using an orchestra score um, pad so it fits right across the entire screen. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm writing. Um, so C major scale, for instance, let's just um, go straight off. Uh, make sure if you're using a fountain pen, it actually does have ink in it. <laughs> okay, kind of a treble clef. Um, C to C. So you draw your treble clef at the front of the line, and we'll just go from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So what have you written? From middle C up to the next C. Of course you can keep going. Um, start with C here, of course, then D. E, F, G, A, B, and C, up high. Um, that's two octaves from C to C, and from the same C here up to the high C, which is right up here, quite high. Okay, as you can see here, we have nothing, no sharps or flats, at the beginning of the scale, okay? Let's do another treble clef. One sharp, F sharp. Okay, that is G major. And of course, then you just simply write G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you probably wouldn't space them out as much as that if you just had um, normal size type manuscript paper like this is. It's just an A4. This is A3. As I said, it's for like charting for a band or an orchestra or something like that. 
So you can see here that we've got F sharp, one sharp. That means that any F, this one, is automatically sharp. So you don't put that there. I'm just putting it there so you can see. Um, it's automatically the black note, the sharp. Next one down is a flat running in order of one sharp, then one flat, then two sharps and two flats. And this one's called F major, which we've done before. But this is how we're writing it. Boom. F major, but it has B flat in the key signature. One flat. It means that every B in that song is B flat, the black note. On this scale, this is the B here. Okay, in the third line, middle line, every good boy, B, boy. So that one there, of course, would be a flat. B flat is the note that would be played. Following? And then we just keep on going. So, treble clef again. Let's do two sharps. F sharp, C sharp. This one's called D major. We're starting on D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It has two sharps. F and C sharp. Boom, boom, boom. There's the F and there's the C in the scale. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, and you can keep going up another octave if you wanted to. Um, and that's how the two sharps come in. Now remember when we were talking about chords and harmonies and things like that, we still have chord number one, right? chord number four, and chord number five. The tonic, dominant, subdominant. Same with all of them. Chord one, chord four, Chord five, chord one, one, two, three, four, fourth note, and fifth notes, five. Remember we write them as Roman numerals. In C major, C's number one, one, two, three, four, F, and G's five. So there's still the same way of working out the intervals, how far apart notes are, and also working out the chords, uh, the tonic, the one chord, the four chord, and the fifth chord. So it's just a matter of picking what key, what scale. How do you pick what scale? If you've got words and you're singing the song that you're writing, that's how you really pick the scale. What key your voice is best suited to, or that, that song is best suited to with the range of notes. You can see here C, if we just go one octave, goes to C. So that's C, there's the highest note. Whereas G, we're an extra five notes above, which is a difference. And if you're singing that, that is a, a very large difference in the vocal line to go from a C up to that high G. Here it is here in like the C row. That's how far the difference is if you're singing it. So keys, all come back to scales. Intervals, how far apart notes are, are all based on scales, like what I was doing here. One, two, three, four, and five. And of course, the triads, the chords, all relate back to everything here. All relates back to scales. So they are very important um, to know your scales and then relate whatever song you're writing um, through to use notes for harmonies and the don't forget your sharps and flats your key signatures you have to put that in as well and that tells you what of course is sharp and flat throughout the piece of music you're writing stay well everyone and enjoy your music until next time bye